विनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंग विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंग उच्छल जलधि तरंग तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तव जय गाथा जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे स्टूडेंट्स It's time for the special competition we organized every year on the 15th of August the poster competition but this year it is more special do you know why no sir what is so special this year all the students have to comment on a selected poster of his choice the student who gives the best comment wins the prize the prize will come as a surprise and will be declared later now all of you follow me to the auditorium what a waste of energy a quiz competition would have been much better this surprise must be another boring history lecture hey jc what are you waiting for move on hmm this is so boring what do our teachers think of us doctorates and poster judging i suppose This looks interesting. These four lines is a part of our national anthem. But what on earth are all these people doing in this map? Oi, sing is king, sing is king, sing is king. Oi, oi. Ah, not so loud. You will bring the class teacher here. Anyways, who are you? Oi, Mundia. I am Bantu Singh. Who are you? I am not a Munda. I am a Bengali. My name is JC. Oh, I saw you are a Bengali Munda. What is this Munda? Why are you abusing me? Oh, Bantu Singh never abuses anybody. Munda in Punjabi means kid. Punjabi is my native language. Ah, I get it now. You are from Punjab. Munda is just like Khoka in Bengali, which also means kid. Oh, bang on, oh, bang on. All of us in this poster speak different native languages. Well, this poster rocks, but I do not get the whole idea behind this poster. Oh boy! I thought you as an intelligent kid. The agenda of this poster is as clear as daylight. Bantu, why are you pulling the kid's leg? Do you think you are more intelligent than him at his age? So nice of you, Uncle. May I know your name? My name is Amir Khan. I am from Lucknow. Well, Amir ji, you look like a knowledgeable gentleman. Can you explain the concept behind this poster? Of course, beta. The idea behind the banner is to show unity amongst diversity. What does it mean? <laughs> Let me explain it to you. People in India are living with each other for a long time. How long, Amir ji? Hmm. More than 1300 years ago, around 700 AD. Many regions already possessed distinct geographical dimensions and their own language and cultural characteristics. They were also associated with specific ruling dynasties. What is a dynasty, Amir ji? Huh. You are a very inquisitive young lad. Dynasties were a sequence of powerful leaders in the same family who ruled over a vast kingdom. Oh ho 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 ho! Why are you laughing? Oi I am laughing because Amir ji is giving undue respect to all those quarrelsome people who are very pugnacious in nature Is it so Bantu can you name a few dynasties for me Uh well dynasties uh, the and the uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Poor Bantu. Bantu I will tell you JC the Maurya Khaljis Cholas and Mughals were a few of the well known dynasties All these dynasties had powerful rulers who were able to build a vast empire which spanned a diverse region. Large states like those of Cholas, Khaljis or Mughals encompassed many regions. Wow, that's cool. 
But Amirji, how can one know about the territories conquered by rulers? Well, that's an interesting question. Prashasti is one such source of information. I've heard of a Sanskrit Prashasti praising the Delhi Sultan Giyasuddin Balban. It explained that he was the ruler of a vast empire. What is a Prashasti? Prashasti is a scripture which told us about emperors and rulers. But they were not always correct. How can you say that? Oi Mundia! According to the historians, the Prashastis were sometimes erroneous and superfluous as they contained exaggerated claims of conquests. But what happened when the rulers were gone? Amir ji can tell you about them. He is a very knowledgeable person. <coughs> when the Mughal Empire declined in the 18th century, it led to the re-emergence of the regional states. But that's too drastic. I mean, it must have been pretty difficult for the people to adjust to the new government. Spot on, kid! Years of imperial rule throughout a vast area had altered the character of the regions. I partially agree with Bantu. They felt the impact of larger regional forces of integration without ever quite losing their distinctiveness. Wow, that's great. I never knew that my country had so many shared and distinct traditions. Well, JC, I can see that you liked this poster. I was watching you stand for quite a long time here. Have you forgotten all about the competition? Absolutely not, sir. I have selected my poster. This is the poster I will like to comment upon. Tell me what you understand from this poster. Sir, this poster is a remarkable depiction of a unified nation which has so many traditional diversities. Though India was ruled by several dynasties for thousands of years which encompassed vast areas, Yet the people of different provinces were able to maintain their unique culture. JC, you're talking like a scholar. That is the best comment I have heard so far. I am the best. The winner is JC. Oh my God. As a reward of his brilliant comment, this knowledgeable kid is selected as the quiz master for the interdepartmental quiz competition of class 6 to be held next week. Oh yeah, that's like a dream come true for me. Hi Amirji. Hi Bantu. Hmm, congratulations. congratulations. You, you won, won the, award. the award. Well, the credit goes to the two of you. No, JC. We are not responsible. You are the one who is responsible. You are a great kid with eagerness to learn. You understand why our national integrity is important. Yes, that's why I am what I am.